Hello, Assalamu alaikum. I am Kaji Fawaj Ahmed Jim from Designer Doll. So today I am going to see the latest version of Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe InDesign and so on. And if you are new in channel, then definitely consider subscribing and ask me anything regarding Adobe Creative Source. If you have any question, write down in the comment section. I will answer if possible. So without any further ado, let's get started. So, we are now in the adobe photoshop 2022 the latest version of adobe creative suite and if you can see that this is the version of it adobe photoshop and this version 23.0.0 that means the latest version of adobe photoshop and you can see the credentials here okay the so first improvement of adobe photoshop um, they have introduced that the image selection the object selection and if we open an object or a image let's say that's image you can see there is a new tool um, if you click on the uh, object selection tool you can see here and if you uh, don't definitely go um close the uh, software after installing and then again restart your computer then you are good to go and here is the button you can refresh this option and after refreshing this option here uh, is the new tool and uh, in the previous section we uh, didn't get any of them but in the uh, latest one we can use these tools and you can create um, the tons of selection in a just in just one click and just click on the uh, object selection tool then click on the object finder if you, do, you can't see this you can definitely go um, and click on the window workspace uh, yes uh, window workspace and reset essentials okay so in my terms uh, i don't see any kind of issues and i just check on the uh, i just uncheck the but, uh, button the mark of the object finder and you can uh, see that uh, nothing uh, is uh, changeable and i can't select anything but if i click on uh, the object finder or check on the object finder you can see um, the selection is now much better and i can select anything from this image and now click on this and again let it be done from the computer by it own self it will uh, take some time the actual object or subject okay let's have a tea as we know this is the uh, latest software of adobe creative clouds so uh, there are some kind of bugs uh, right now but uh, i think it should be uh, cleaned up as you um, use your software or in uh, updating your software version anyway uh, now this is the selection here you can see it did, uh, did a much greater job but i don't need all the portions i just need the um, this image the uh, this from here so i have to cut out from here you can cut out from laser tool or ma polygonal magnetic tool whatever you like now ctrl d deselect this image and again i go to the uh, object selection tool and you can see uh, here is option you can uh, tick or untick this option basically uh, it is uh, identifies the object and you can click on the tool uh, you can see after hover over the mouse it says that um, it shows or hide the objects from the selections 
again if you uh, click on the cog wheel here and there is a ob uh, option called object subtract auto refresh manual refresh color you can change the color here now see this is now green this is now uh, indigo color whatever you like i just um, uh, happy with the green color okay and now the eye outlines the outline means uh, you can uh, call it the glow effect because um, after selecting its outline the outline um, it it basically it means the outline uh, whether it goes larger or smaller so it identifies your glowing not glowing so much but i'm just uh, just a um, example i'm I, I assume it as a example this glow and this is the opacity you can um, maintain the opacity from here and experiment whether it is useful or not for you but i will go with the 60 70 percent because it will um, uh, engaging to my eyes and you can select from here or not the subtract and the uh, manual auto refresh button you can uh, check it out after installing the software the latest version of adobe photoshop 2022 and again it is the rectangular and reset tool you can select from here or you can select from the rectangular subject and this is the main main uh, thing that adobe introduce um, engage for, for better engagement and to help out people so much okay it will take okay now control d so if you check the uh, official website of adobe photoshop what's new in adobe photoshop the latest release of photoshop uh, as i said the october release 20, uh, 2021 and version 22.0 this is the first uh, i have already shown you that how it works automatic selections on hover and now this is the portion of share for commenting if you go to the photoshop you can see the here is a new button save as cloud of cloud to share so after uh, working together all the items you can send it to your partnership programs or partner or your working colleagues uh, by sharing this you can easily uh, promote yourself or your work or you can easily send uh, through the uh, internet or send through the adobe creative cloud account so it will much helpful to you and you can easily modify whenever or wherever you are okay fine and uh, another uh, update is uh, here the improvement of interop with illustrator so if i go to the illustrator also i mention it um after uh, i will arrange these tutorials after step by step so that you don't get confused and you can easily uh, work anything after watching my videos or tutorials so this is the latest version of adobe illustrator cc 2022 and you can see from here the about section the adobe illustrator is sorry i mistakenly overwrote it okay the 26.0 that means the latest version of adobe creative cloud adobe illustrator cc 2022 so after uh, going here i can open an illustrator file okay uh, i think this is the illustrator file okay fine these are the uh, recent work of my i designed these logos okay so let me know how it looks and if it looks so genuine and commercial then let me know um, e whether it should be on graphic river or shutter stock or not so thank you and i hope you will comment in the comment section so select all and you can share her also here from here because this is the latest version and you can continue but i uh, am not in my creative cloud account that's why it shows nothing but if you are in on the uh, creative cloud of your own account then you will see the options from here okay so if i click uh, select all the items and go to the edit and copy it and now you can go to the adobe photoshop 2022 sorry okay 
yes and go to the edit and paste but you can't paste it right now okay now it refreshed and now paste on this link and you can see the new option from here the paste option paste as smart object pixels layers patch uh, sorry path and shape layer so one thing i should mention that uh, in the earlier version of adobe photoshop you didn't see any kind of layers option from here uh, but now adobe added uh, this option for improving your workflow and that's why i can select on the layers and okay and you can see the group all the groups and all the layers uh, that i previously done with adobe illustrator it all are in here with and uh, all are put it here there so that you can easily maintain the uh, portion of each elements and you can easily work with it so let me uh, have some time as i said this is actually totally a new uh, software so there are uh, something some kind of uh, issues or bugs uh, you can feel but after uh, updating uh, keeping update you can easily fix it in the near future so okay some of the content in this selection will be rasterized continue pasting yes definitely click on the continue and you can see the layers here uh, if i hide the background you can see it easily so you can see the groups and all the layers are here um, arranged by uh, the adobe illustrator and put it all together into the adobe photoshop cc 2022 so this is the new feature of adobe photoshop 2022 and this is gonna very helpful to us because we all know that illustrator ai file is not supported sometimes and it's uh, it was very laggy after a while um, uh, we are uh, continuously working with it and now you can easily uh, given uh, you can easily turn over it at once and this you can uh, separately um, modify these portions the layers each and every layers um, you can uh, click on the text also so everything is in your, your hand and um, I can uh, say you that this will be much helpful to you or to all of us. So this is the new feature also. And now I'm going to introduce um, one new thing with the uh, uh, camera raw. So after um, duplicating one the, the layer also. If you haven't subscribed my channel, then definitely go to, to, on the subscribe the red alert section and then definitely smash the like button if you like this video and you are it helps to you so now you can go to the filter and you can see the neutral filters i am uh, working with it so i will gonna show you in a minute and after going to the uh, filter and the camera raw filter you can easily um, work with these tools also from here you can click on the get started and here is a new button called uh yes the masking you can easily mask from here here is the uh, things that um, it says that select subject is it will automatically clearly select the subject and just give it a minute you can see the magic has happened and you can easily uh, fix it any anywhere anytime and now this is the uh, layers of it so i think this is very helpful to us because uh, af without any kind of uh, hesitation without any kind of harassment without any kind of lagging you can easily modify wherever you want and this will uh, keep you uh, so much lighter and you won't face any kind of issues anytime so this is the mask and you can uh, click on the uh, icon and remove from anywhere on the part and again you can subtract and add any kind of um, layers anytime and uh, it will 
it won't harm to you and it, again you can brush it from here the color range option the luminance range range uh, you can um, absolutely you are good to go so this is the uh, again another version uh, another feature of it and now uh, i will take a landscape image so that i can show you the actual things okay go to the tools and set it to the large uh, uh, i can see this this image just copy it just copy it and send here okay and make it large so that it will fill the portion of it okay and now if i go uh, click on the uh, convert to smart object and click on the filter then neuter filter so this uh, another uh, magic has happened here if you go to the um, landscape mixer you can see a new tool is appealing here and you can download from here and easily modify with the color i just downloaded it sorry the filter is not available for now the filter is not available but if when it will be available you can easily fix the same thing from here the harmonization uh, the harmonization uh, ma mainly thinks that uh, it will um, um, basically it will change its existing color with the reference image or whatever you want to put into the color and put into the image and it will absolutely fine to get the color because sometimes the cinematic shots are not uh, so um, uh, identifying uh, from the beginner you can easily if you are a beginner you can easily um, change the color or with the actual cinematic soft, uh, shot from here the landscape mixer and the harmonization okay as i said this is a not a vita version in the vita version Ad actually adobe is working with the vita version after uh, publishing the uh, the actual final version of the adobe photoshop you will um, absolutely grab all the features from here and again if i go to the uh, main um, official page you can see the uh, i all i have also so, shown you that the automatic selections the commenting options the um, interrupt with illustrator options and neutral filters are not available in my pc now but wh while it, uh, whenever it will available next i uh, in the next video i will show you and after uh, this kind of things you uh, adobe uh, all, also the photoshop has changed the minor improvements and now you are very uh, you will be very comfortable with the adobe photoshop and this is the video i have uh, already i thought to um, show you and it will um, i think that it will uh, helpful to you and if yes then definitely hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like my videos and ask me wh whatever you want regarding adobe or anything video editing graphic design genre so hope you will we will, uh, we will see in the next vi future videos ciao